Today we're, Today we're going, going to replace, replace the bathroom light, light switch. If you listen, listen closely, you're going to hear a very annoying squeak. squeak. And that's, and that's where we're going to replace it. Not because, because it doesn't still work, but just because, because it's annoying. After we've turned the power off at the circuit breaker box, or a fuse box if you have one of those instead, uh, we will take the switch plate off. Next we will unscrew the switch from the box. Okay, with the switch unscrewed from the outlet box here, from the middle box, we can pull it out. We want to take special notice of where the wires are. We have the white wire on top and the black wire on the bottom. We're going to connect them in the same way to the new switch. You'll notice here a, a wire. This is the ground wire. It's attached to the metal box for grounding. This particular switch doesn't need a ground wire because the metal from the switch attaches to the metal box so it is also grounded. This particular switch has a special green screw for, for a ground wire to connect to and you want to use that if you have one of those blue plastic or some other type of plastic uh, box that, put, that your switch mounts into. And now we'll disconnect the switch from its wires. Notice how these wires are looped. They are looped so they will fit around the, sc the screws. Now you can also do it another way. There are two holes in the back of the switch where you can leave the wires straight and simply poke the wires into the holes in the back. We're going to loop these onto the screws. I like to do that just because I feel it's a little more secure connection. Once you have the wires looped around the connectors securely, and you can use um, even those pliers to do that. That's what one of the good uses for those. Once you've done that, then you can take your screwdriver and screw them in securely. Be careful not to tighten too tightly though because you don't want to crack the switch. Once you have the wires securely connected, then you want to fold the wires neatly back into the box. You want to do this so they don't pinch or so that the insulation doesn't uh, become detached from the wires and then we'll screw the switch back into the, its metal box. Now if you want to know whether you've got the switch in correctly or not if you look and it says off on the top then you've got it in properly. Um, where these screws go in into the metal box these are adjustable, so if it's slightly crooked, you can push it over and retighten the screw. The screw doesn't go into an exactly round hole, it goes, there is an oval um, hole in, for each one of these screws. And once we have it nice and squarely into position, then we can put our switch plate on with these separate switch plate screws. Okay, we've switched the power back on to the circuit breaker box, and now we're going to test it and see if it works. No squeak. No squeak. And we have lights. All three of them.